Today, we are going to dive into an important health topic, how excess carbs, protein, and fat affect cholesterol metabolism. If you think cholesterol problems only come from high-fat foods, you're wrong. Excessive intake of any macronutrient carbs, protein, or fat can negatively impact your cholesterol levels and overall heart health. Let us break it down. Part 1. Excess Carbs and Cholesterol Metabolism First, the carbs. When you consume too many refined carbs and sugars, your body converts them into fatty acids through a process in your liver called the novo lipogenesis. The novo lipogenesis, DNL, is the process by which the body converts excess carbohydrates into fat. This occurs primarily in the liver, but also to a lesser extent in adipose tissue. The term de novo means from new, indicating that the body is creating fat molecules from non-fat sources, specifically from glucose and other carbohydrates. This can have a variety of harmful effects on cholesterol metabolism. One increases triglycerides. Excess carbs are converted into triglycerides, which raise the LDL cholesterol and increase your risk of heart disease. Two raises LDL bad cholesterol. Sugar, especially fructose, promotes small, dense LDL particles, which are more likely to clog arteries. 3. Lowers HDL good cholesterol. The high-carb diet, especially one rich in refined sugars, lowers HDL, which helps clear cholesterol from the body. 4. Leads to insulin resistance and fatty liver. Over time, excessive carbohydrate intake can lead to insulin resistance and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, both of which worsen cholesterol metabolism. Insulin resistance is a condition in which the body's cells become less responsive to insulin, the hormone that helps regulate blood sugar, glucose, levels. As a result, the pancreas must produce more insulin to keep blood sugar levels stable. Over time, if this condition develops, it can lead to pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and other metabolic disorders. Fatty liver disease, FLD, is when excess fat builds up in the liver. Normally, the liver contains some fat. But when fat makes up more than 5 of the liver's weight, a condition called hepatic steatosis, or fatty liver, sets in. If left untreated, it can lead to liver inflammation, scarring, and serious health complications. Clinical studies have shown that reducing refined carbohydrates and sugar can significantly reduce triglycerides and improve cholesterol levels. Part R. Excess Protein and Cholesterol Metabolism Now, let us talk about protein. Although protein is essential for muscle and tissue repair, consuming too much, especially from animal sources, can affect cholesterol levels in the following ways. 1. Increase LDL bad cholesterol. Red meat and full-fat dairy products contain saturated fat, which stimulates the liver to produce more LDL cholesterol. 2. Leads to insulin resistance. When excess protein is not needed for muscle repair, excess protein is converted into glucose through gluconeogenesis, leading to metabolic imbalance. Different sources have different effects. 1. Animal protein Red meat processed meat tends to raise LDL cholesterol. 2. Plant protein Soy, beans, nuts and fish protein are rich in omega-3, which helps lower LDL and raise HDL. Studies have confirmed that plant protein and lean protein are associated with better lipid profiles, making them great choices for heart health. Part 3. Excess Fat and Cholesterol Metabolism Fat has the most direct effect on cholesterol metabolism but not all fats are the same. Let us analyze it. 1. Saturated fat. It is a dietary fat composed of fatty acid chains with single bonds between carbon molecules, making it solid at room temperature. It is mainly found in animal foods such as red meat beef, pork, lamb, poultry skin, butter and shortening, full-fat dairy products milk, cheese, cream, yogurt, lard and tallow, processed meats, sausages, bacon, hot dogs and some vegetable oils such as coconut oil, palm oil and palm kernel oil, cocoa butter, macadamia nuts. Saturated fat raises LDL cholesterol by reducing LDL receptor activity in the liver. 2. Trans fat. Trans fatty acids are a type of unsaturated fat that is artificially made through a process called hydrogenation, which adds hydrogen to liquid vegetable oils to make them solid at room temperature. They are used in processed foods because they extend shelf life and improve texture but they are the worst type of fat for heart health. Trans fats are found in processed snacks and margarines, and they raise LDL levels while lowering HDL levels. 3. Excessive Omega-6 Fats Omega-6 fatty acids are a type of polyunsaturated fat PUFA that is essential to the body, which means we must get them from our diet because the body cannot produce them. They play a role in cell function, 
brain health, and inflammation regulation, and the normal ratio between omega-6 and omega-3 fats is 1 to 1 to 4 to 1. They are mainly found in vegetable oils such as soybean oil, corn oil, and sunflower oil, and can cause inflammation if consumed in large quantities when omega-3 levels are unbalanced. 4. Healthy Fats Monounsaturated fats olive oil, avocados, nuts, and omega-3 fish, flax seeds improve cholesterol levels by raising HDL levels and lowering triglycerides. The Mediterranean diet is rich in healthy fats and has been clinically proven to improve cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. So, what is the best way to control cholesterol? Follow these five golden rules. 1. Balance macronutrients. Avoid excessive intake of any single macronutrient. 2. Reduce refined carbohydrates and sugars. Limit sugar, white flour, and ultra-processed foods. 3. Choose healthy proteins. Prioritize fish, beans nuts, and lean poultry over red processed meats. 4. Eat more healthy fats. Choose olive oil, avocados, nuts, and omega-3 rich fish over saturated and trans fats. 5. Monitor total caloric intake. Remember that excess calories from any source can disrupt cholesterol metabolism. Thank you for watching. If you find today's content helpful, please like, follow and subscribe, and share this video with your family and friends so that more people can manage their cholesterol. See you next time.